not on the voting agenda, we ask you wait till the second public uh, comment section. And when you come to the voting, <coughs> excuse me, if you could please state your name and residency and limit your comments to three minutes or less. Thank you. Welcome, Mrs. Campbell. Good evening. I'll be speaking with my mask down. One, because our respect for those watching online, speaking from personal experience who've been watching, it's difficult to hear and understand with mask on. The sound is very muffled. Second, as a 37 year career nurse, the masks are not necessary and they are only causing emotional Has she a shot distress yet? to our children. I am very much aware as a career parent speaking at school board meetings, I am commenting on consent agenda items. I, you won't answer my questions and I only have three minutes. Consent agenda item 8.0, financial approval for SAGE wellness contract. Doesn't that sound amazing? Well, let me tell you what they're doing. Implementing an equitable and culturally competent cultural in all areas by providing support in the areas of racially equity, implicit and explicit bias, and incorporating a restorative practices lens, Great Valley's board of directors, administrators, staff, and families will learn how to implement culturally relevant, responsive, responsive clinically sound, and personal center practices by increasing knowledge and skill set. Great Valley will be better equipped to utilize a holistic person center and culturally responsive approach within daily interactions among colleagues, students, and families. Yes, I'm reading fast, but it's here for your review and many more of what their goals are. Pretty darn scary, in my opinion. I'm very much aware of the indoctrination going on in college, and now we have the product of that environment already teaching in our classrooms. I'm not putting all teachers under one umbrella. However, I know CRT is, is here, alive, and prospering in Gray Valley. You need to keep this oh corporate God, CRT isn't nonsense taught. out of our schools. With we keep her with, out of the meetings. Do we really have to spend $43,000 to educate our administrators and staff on how to treat children in our classrooms with respect, appreciating their differences, and making them feel welcome and unified as a student body that we have a problem here in Great Valley? This is basic human decency 101. I am a nurse and a patient is a patient is a patient. I adapt my care accordingly to be sensitive, respectful, and accepting of their cultural differences or religious beliefs of my patients and families. Educating our students should be no different. Programs like this will only create a greater divide that already exists here in our community, among our students uh, and Sally our Petal stakeholders. Logic. Thank you for your time.